You know, there are more businesses out there that you can start right now with just $1,000 than any other time in history. And in this video, I'm gonna give you six of the best businesses that you can start today with $1,000 or less. And the first one on the list is one that I actually did for a few years after I quit my nine to five job, which was web design slash development. When I started doing web design back in like 2016, 2017, I basically had zero dollars to my name. In fact, I was even in a little bit of credit card debt at the time. But none of that mattered because I was able to quickly learn how to build websites using a completely free platform called wordpress.org. And combined with a completely free plugin called Elementor, I was able to scale my web design business from earning just a few hundred dollars per week to a few thousand dollars per week to as much as $80,000 per year. And just keep in mind, before I ever even got started, I had zero previous web design experience. I learned everything that I needed by spending about two weeks watching different videos on web design and web development. And the best part is that I didn't even need to learn how to code because I just used completely free drag and drop tools to get the job done. And even with the very limited knowledge that I had when I was first getting started to find new clients, all I did was just go to Upwork and start submitting proposals. And I'm just gonna be 100% transparent with you, okay? Web design and web development completely changed my life because it was the first time in my life that I was truly able to be my own boss and work from the comfort of my home without having to go out and work a nine to five job. Now, I'm certainly not saying that it still wasn't a lot of work. It was, but I could work from anywhere in the world that I wanted. And yes, I did work extremely hard, but it was much more rewarding work because I was able to make money and be my own boss. Now, I actually plan on coming out with a few videos, potentially a series, where I'll show you step-by-step -step the exact process of going from zero to 100 as a web developer. In other words, if you know nothing about web development or web design and you want to start doing it to make some truly life-changing money, how exactly you can get there. But if that's something that you're interested interested in, please be sure to drop a comment down below just saying like, yes, make the dedicated web development video. And if enough of you are interested, then I'll start working on that series. The next business idea is creating print on demand posters. So the online poster slash like canvas artwork industry is a relatively new and thriving industry. In fact, many of the pieces of artwork that I own in my home, I actually bought from Etsy. And more than likely, all they did was simply use a print on demand service such as Printify to print and ship the product for them. For example, both of these awesome stock market paintings I bought on Etsy for around $200 a piece. And the crazy part about this is the seller didn't have to print the artwork. They didn't have to build the frame and like, you know, actually put the frame on the artwork. They didn't have to package it and ship it or worry about any of the physical labor involved with manufacturing and shipping physical products. The only thing they had to do was just create the artwork, which is free. Now, here's the truly incredible part about this business. Even if you don't have have any previous like design or painting experience and you're thinking to yourself, well, Joshua, how can I do this business if I'm not like a painter or like a graphic designer? Well, there's actually two different routes that you can take, both of which require no previous experience. Who does this guy think he is? The first is to create uh, motivational quote posters very similar to these here. So these posters are selling for between $159 to as much as $1,400 depending on the size. And you're probably thinking to yourself right now, Joshua, there's no way, no way that people are spending that much money on some simple canvas posters, right? Well, I think that you would be shocked because there are hundreds of people leaving five-star reviews about their absolutely amazing purchase and these are just the people who are actually leaving reviews. But I would guess that there are probably thousands of people who are buying this poster right here. Now, this does leave us with one question. How exactly are you gonna come up with designs? You can either just use like really inspiring quotes found on sites like inspiringquotes.com or you can use AI to come up with motivational inspiring quotes for you. For example, I'm gonna ask the AI to give me a big, no, no, no huge list of motivational and inspiring quotes. And the results will certainly inspire you. And something else that you can do is use AI to generate completely copyright free poster artwork for you. For example, if I go into a free AI tool called Mid Journey, I can ask the AI to create for me a, let's see, red cherry botanical children's art print. And this right here is what it produces in just a matter of seconds. And this right here can be taken into a free print on demand service like Printify, who will then print and ship this to your customers for you. Now, I know that you probably 
always still have a ton of questions about this business. And I do plan on making a dedicated video about this business soon. And so again, if you'd like to see that video, make sure to drop a comment down below. Now, really quickly, I wanted to bring this up as a bonus. So most people know that investing is something you can do to build your wealth potentially over time. And the smartest way to do this is by opening up a new account with an investing app, especially one that offers a bonus for new users like earning free stocks. For example, just for opening up a brokerage account with Moomoo using my link below, you can earn one free stock or up to 15 free stocks after depositing your first $1,000. And if you happen to be in Australia, you can earn three free full share stocks when you deposit $1 or up to 10 full shares when you deposit $2,000. The shares included in that lottery are Apple, Amazon, and Tesla, among others. Moomoo is perfect for helping you to get started on your investing journey. They offer premium tools without having to pay a premium price. To get started with Moomoo and get your free stocks, be sure to click on my link down below in the description or the pinned comment to get exclusive access to these deals. Next up on our list is a mobile car detailer. So about a month ago, there was a flyer on my door promoting a mobile car detailing service, and I didn't think much of it. But then just a couple of weeks ago, I noticed that there was this guy probably in his, you know, early to mid twenties who was cleaning and detailing cars at several of the different houses in my neighborhood. And I finally put two and two together and I realized that this was probably the same guy who was passing out flyers about a month earlier. And you'd be really surprised to learn that a lot of people will pay you good money to clean and detail their car as much as once per month. In fact, there are a ton of people making hundreds of dollars per day, thousands of dollars per week, and even millions of dollars per year doing car detailing. And getting started with this business is actually incredibly easy. Step one, check your bank account to make sure that you have at least $150. You got that? <laughs> okay, good job, good job. Let's move on to step number two. Step number two, take your butt to any local hardware store or Walmart, walk in and buy one garden hose, a garden hose nozzle, a bucket, some microfiber towels, glass cleaner, auto cleaner, a wash mitt, detailing brushes, a little scrubber thingy to clean the tires, some tire shiner, an extension cord, and a shop vac. Now, because you're gonna be doing mobile auto cleaning, meaning you have to move around to different houses, you'll obviously need some access to some running water and electricity and there's really two different ways to go about this you can either buy a 15 to 25 gallon water tank which you can buy for between 100 to 200 dollars and all you would do is just connect your water hose directly to the tank and you'll also need electricity to power your shop vac and for this you can just buy a portable power station for around 140 dollars or if you didn't want to spend any extra money you could just ask the homeowner if you can connect to their outdoor water and power source it's really up to you most homeowners probably won't mind now, the next thing that you'll wanna do is obviously, you know, get the word out about your business. Like you need clients and there's a few different ways to find new clients. As always, you can take advantage of free sites like Facebook Marketplace, local Facebook groups, uh, Craigslist, and use sites like Nextdoor to promote your services. But something else that I think you should do in addition to posting to the free sites, I also think it would be a good idea to invest in some door hanging flyers. These things are super cheap, high quality, and can be bought in bulk on sites like Vistaprint. For example, 1,000 of these door hanging flyers flyers can be bought for about 13 cents a piece. Or if you wanted to start smaller, you could buy 50 and that's going to cost you about $1 per flyer. But obviously the more flyers that you buy, the cheaper it is. And in my opinion, if you really want to take this business serious and you want to grow as fast as possible, you'll want to hang these flyers on as many doors as possible. Also going to like higher end wealthier areas is probably going to be one of the best strategies for finding new clients. And to kind of just give you some perspective on how much money you can make doing this, let's take the cost of an average car detailing session, which is between $150 and $300, depending on what you're doing. And let's just say, for example, that over three to four hours, you clean four different cars. And you did this five days a week, Monday through Friday. Well, this means you'd be making on average between $3,000 and $6,000 per week, or about $12,000 to $18,000 per month. And that right there is some life-changing money. Just for cleaning cars. There you go, ma'am. Thank you. That was easy. The next business that you can start for under $1,000 is a window washing business. So I was on Reddit the other day, wasting my time looking at a bunch of nonsense. 
time I stumbled upon this post of someone talking about their new and successful window washing business that pulled in almost $11,000 in revenue its first month. And they even shared a screenshot of the revenue as proof. And so I decided to do some digging to see what this person had to say about their newfound business. And I saw questions like, what kind of equipment do you need to get started? And how do you actually haul that equipment? And how do you find new clients? And honestly, not even to my surprise, all of his answers were super simple. For example, what equipment do you need to get started? As far as equipment, microfiber cloths and glass cleaner is the most basic all the way up to getting commercial grade equipment. It just depends on your budget and plan. And conveniently enough, you can actually buy a full glass cleaner kit on Amazon for about $19. And then you can buy a cheap bucket from basically any hardware store, some glass cleaner and a used ladder. And for around just $100, your business is ready to go. Next question, how do you actually haul the equipment? Inside the back of a regular size sedan. You don't need any fancy pickup trucks or vans to start this business. WTF, here I was thinking you had a big <laughs> truck. I wish brother. I wish. And then the final question, did you get all the customers by doing door to door? Did you leave flyers? How else did you get clients? All customers through D2D, no, I don't leave flyers. But with that being said, door to door knocking is not gonna be for everybody. Luckily though, there are a ton of other ways you can find new clients that work just as well. This could be once again, you know, buying super cheap door hanging flyers from a site like Vistaprint. It could be once again, posting free ads on sites like Facebook Marketplace, local Facebook groups, Craigslist, next door. Now, there is one other really important thing that this person did mention about their window washing business, which is that many of his clients live in more high-end or wealthy areas. And so this is definitely something you're going to want to keep in mind if you're passing out flyers or going door-to-door -door knocking is making sure that you're going to higher-end, wealthier areas. The next business that you can start today is the very simple business of lawn care. You know, I think it's so easy to overcomplicate being your own boss and making money by yourself. People will tell you all day, whether it's in the comment section of this video or your friends and family, it's not that simple. Being your own boss is not that simple. You're making it seem too easy. It's not that easy. And the truth, if I'm just being honest with you, as somebody who hasn't had a boss in the past like almost 10 years, it is that easy. And this is the case for a lawn care business. It's the reason why lawn care is a $129 billion industry and continues to grow year after year. And the best part is that it doesn't really take a lot to get started. The first thing that you'll need is obviously a lawnmower. Now, the thing that I think a lot of people overestimate is how much lawnmower they actually need to get started. Like, do you actually need to go and spend two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000 on like a zero turn or like riding lawnmower? Or can you just get a push mower for, you know, two, three, four hundred dollars Well, it all really depends on your budget and your goals, but just understand that for the most part, you can go and start a successful full-scale lawn care business with just a push mower, a cheap hedge trimmer, a cheap leaf blower, and a cheap weed whacker, or whatever the heck you call it where you live, a weed eater. And if you don't believe me, well, there are people doing it every single day. So below five hours, you can make 500 bucks. If I could do it, you could do it too. Look how simple my equipment is. A mower, a trimmer, and a blower. You don't need a lot to do a lot. And I just want to inspire and show others that you can make your own money. You can become your own boss. Now, this last business is one that can definitely be the most lucrative of any of these, but it also does require more work than probably most of the others. And that is starting a YouTube channel. Now, before you go and get yourself into a big fit, you know, and say, Joshua, I can't do it. Not only do I not know how to talk to a camera, but I also don't have enough money to start a channel. Well, to that, I say bull poopy. I, I can't actually say the cuss word because um, YouTube's watching me. So a lot of people have this impression that starting a YouTube channel means like, you know, going and being the next Mr. Beast. That you have to go and spend, you know, $5 million to produce one YouTube video. And that is not the case at all. You can literally go and start a channel with just your phone. I'm not kidding. Most modern cell phones nowadays have the ability to not only shoot 1080p, which is more than sufficient for a YouTube video, but they can also shoot 4K, which is like way better than even some DSLRs. For example, on the iPhone, if you go and to your settings and then scroll all the way down to camera, you'll see an option that says record video. And if you tap on this, you'll have several different video settings ranging from like, you know, 720p all the way up to 4K. And if I just go ahead and turn the setting on and then set my phone up right here, I can get my footage to look like this. That's right, what you're looking at right now is being shot directly from my iPhone. And so 
you really have no excuse. Now, I will admit, okay, there are some really important details about starting a YouTube channel that I won't be able to talk about in this video. Things like how to choose your channel niche, like what your channel is about, right? How to come up with video ideas, uh, how to actually edit your videos. All of these things are extremely important topics to discuss, but I can't do it in just a couple of minutes in this video. But with that being said, I do plan on making a dedicated video at some point really soon about how to make high quality YouTube videos with your phone. Also, I don't talk about this based Basically like at all but I have a massive massive YouTube course coming out very soon here I've literally been working on this course no exaggeration for about eight months now and I am confident that this course will have a massive impact on a lot of people and so if you click on the link in the description below you'll be taken to a form where you can enter your email and be notified once the course is released hey you're amazing and I appreciate you so much for being here I mean that don't ever forget you can accomplish anything you want in this life I'm watching you I believe in you and as always, I'll see you again very soon. Take care.